back to my channel. Um, I have actually just filmed a video. I just thought that I would jump back on and give you a quick update on things. So I am wearing the same jumper because it is absolutely freezing in my house. I don't know what's going on, but it's really cold. So I just want to jump on you and let you all know that we've actually just booked a holiday. We are going to Disneyland Paris in... I think when this goes up, it'll be about six weeks. Like, it's not even that long away. Um, and yeah, I'm so, 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 so excited. Sean's never been before. Um, I went when I was about 15 with my school. And I used to go with my mum when I was younger. We used to go for either Halloween or Christmas with me, my mum and my nan. Um, and I haven't been for so long. I think the last time I went with my family, I was... 11 so it's been quite a while um, and I'm just so excited I keep researching it online and remembering things that I always wanted to do or stuff that I've forgotten about so I am so excited so I thought I'd just do a quick video telling you all about what we've booked um, because I know for me like I, when I book things I like seeing people's opinions and I like seeing other people's thoughts on it so these are my thoughts on what we've booked so far as we do have six weeks ago I think I'm gonna do six videos, one a week, or hopefully one a week, um, about our trip. So I'm gonna do a haul, um, a packing video, uh, obviously I'm gonna vlog while I'm there, and I'm just gonna do like updates and things we've booked and stuff like that as we go along. To begin with, we have decided to fly. Uh, we are flying from Bristol Airport, which is the nearest airport to us that was an okay price and it'll take us about an hour and a half to get there and the flight is an hour and a half. We have booked parking off-site on the, uh, near the airport. We have booked the executive lounge at Bristol Airport. Um, so with the executive lounge, you get um, all your drinks and snacks included while at the airport. So you go into the lounge, there's a free bar and free snacks. So you get sort of rolls and croissants and crisps and stuff like that. So it wasn't that much each. I think it works out around £20 each. And um, yeah, it's a free bar. And if you're like me and you do not like flying as much and you need a little something to calm your nerves, it's free. So um, yeah, we're going to do that one with that. Our flight is in the evening. Um, so we arrive in France, I think about eight o'clock. In is it Char oh god, here we go. Charles de Gaulle, Charles de Gaulle, Charles de Gaulle Airport. I don't know. Um, we arrive there in the evening and then we are getting a shuttle straight from there to uh, the hotel. And we are staying at one of the Disney hotels. We are staying at the Santa Fe Hotel. I'll attach some pictures here. When I used to go when I was younger, it was a uh, Mexican themed hotel but I think they've remodeled it now and it's the same hotel but they've just added a few bits and bobs to make it more cars themed so there's a few more like Lightning McQueen <laughs> uh, a theme going on there but I'm super excited I, like I said I've stayed at the hotel before it's a lovely hotel it's very basic and very simple but for what you pay you would expect that if you haven't been to Disney before Disney has I think six hotels ranging from the Disney Hotel, which is in like, on the outskirts of the actual park. You walk through it to get into the park, um, all the way back to the Davy Crockett's Ranch. Now, our one is one up from Davy Crockett's, and it's on the edge of the complex. And it's, I think, a 20-minute walk into the park, or you can get a shuttle bus that only takes 10 minutes. But if you do go, um, I know from experience that the walk isn't that bad. You go past the lake and you get to nose all the other hotels. And if you are nosy like me, then it's good to do that. <laughs> and then you walk through the Disney Village into the park. Obviously, I'll do a review once I'm back. But um, from what I know already, I know that it's quite a nice hotel. So with our hotel as well in our booking, we do get our breakfast included. I think breakfast is included for any type of booking you make at the hotels. Um, as long as they have breakfast facilities. And it is just a standard continental breakfast. But with the booking we made, we are half bored, so we also have our lunch or dinner included. There's more things to do at dinner time, like the restaurants are a lot nicer for dinner. So we've decided to go for our lunch back at the hotel. The reason being is that um, around the times we wanted to go for lunch are the peak times in the park. So the amount of time we'd be waiting for a table and to eat, it would be the same amount of time to get a bus back to the hotel, eat at the hotel where it's going to be pretty quiet and get back. So we're just gonna take an hour out of our day um, to have some lunch and get back to the park. So that is our plan for our lunch. And then for dinner every single night, we are going to do a different restaurant. Now I've 
sort of persuaded Sean in to go into the following restaurants. Um, we've decided to go to the Blue Lagoon restaurant, which I will attach. This restaurant is actually in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. So if you're on the ride, you can see the restaurant. And if you're in the restaurant, you can see the ride. It's amazing. It's like a little island with the big the, the water ride going all the way around it. Um, it serves fresh seafood, fresh Caribbean chicken, all stuff like that. And I remember being really small and I'd always be on the ride. And I, whenever I was on the ride, I'd see the restaurant. I think, oh my God, like that's so, so cool. So I managed today to actually ring um, the reservation line because you can ring up to two months in advance to book a table and they do recommend it. Um, and I'm only two weeks under two months and there was only one slot left for, for the food. So... I was really lucky. We've booked a table at the Blue Lagoon restaurant for the first day we're in the park. So we'll be done with food before the parades kick off. And I think we get to ride the last ride on Pirates of the Caribbean as well. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I would recommend if you're doing any of the restaurants in the park. So I think it's Chez Remy. There's a Cinderella restaurant. There's uh, the Blue Lagoon and Cafe Mickey. And oh, there's another one as well. Um, there's a few and if you want to book them and on the website it says to book two months before I would definitely recommend it. You do need to ring up but you can choose what language you want to speak to somebody in and I just chose English and it was really easy to do and the woman was very polite so that was a really nice process. The second night and third night and fourth night we are going to I think we're going to try and get into Planet Hollywood um, Planet Hollywood, Annette's Diner and the Rainforest Cafe. They're all in the Disney Village and I thought it would be nicer to have a bit more of a away from the park dinner. And then I definitely want to go to Buzz's Pizza Planet at some point and Cafe Hades because they do the best pizza ever. Now that's our sort of meal plan for when we're there. I know there's the Disney Dreams show which is when they light up the castle i really want to go see that so i need to find out the times i think it's around seven or eight o'clock in the night and i think after that's done the park is closed i think i definitely want to do the obviously the christmas parade i want to see that with regards to planning we have got an itinerary well we've kind of got one i am going to do a proper one now if you've been to disney before you will know the key to having some sort of itinerary or some sort of plan of action or what you're going to do per day and what zones of the park you're going to do because Disney and the studios are a big place and certain rides are busier at certain times, certain rides are quieter at certain times so you need to kind of um, figure out what you're going to do per day. So obviously the evening we're going to the Blue Lagoon. Oh there's a fly. Oh going to the Blue Lagoon we're going to go for um, the rides nearer to that which is sort of things like Indiana Jones, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, the um, Pan's flying ride is near there as well so we're going to stick to that. I did find an app called just it's just the Disneyland app and when you go on it you click on per ride and it tells you the exact waiting time and everything like that so I've downloaded that and I like maps of the park to know exactly where we're going to be going per day and then in the Disney Studios, I cannot wait to go to Toy Story World, that wasn't there the last time I was there, and Stitch's Adventure and the Ratatouille World. Now I do need to watch Ratatouille the movie because I haven't actually seen it, so I'm gonna need to watch that before we go. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm talking so fast, I'm just so excited. Oh, the tickets to the park were included in the, um, the booking as well, so we had five days worth of tickets. I did really want to book Buffalo Bill's show. I have done that before, but there aren't any tickets for some reason when we're there, it says it's not on. Another thing I would recommend doing if you are going is looking at what rides are going to be closed when you're there. I know that Thunder Mountain is going to be closed when we are there, which I am so gutted about because it is one of my favourite rides, but it's okay, there'll be plenty of others open. But if there are any particular rides you want to go to, just make sure that they are still open. I know rides can randomly break down, but these ones are actually closed for refurbishment when we're there. I think that's pretty much everything we've got booked. I'm going to be buying lots of um, Disney jumpers ready for ready for the holiday. I'm going to be going to Primark. Primark has so much Disney stuff that I cannot wait to get my hands on. I'm just going to like chuck a big thing in here of like all the stuff I'm hoping to buy for Disney. And obviously when I get that I'm going to be buying the Disney years. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited. I will be doing a video haul of everything I've bought, obviously closer to the holiday. 
I'll be doing a packing video because we are only taking hand luggage. So I'll show you how I pack my hand luggage for a Monday to Friday trip. And I'll show you everything else we book when it comes along. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you are looking at booking Disney, this kind of convinces you to do so. We have got some fantastic deals on at the moment. So I would have a look at the Disney website. I'll um, put it in the down bar below and I'll also put a screenshot up now of it. But I hope you enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope if you are going to Disney, you are just as excited as I am. And if you're not, then maybe you should book it. <laughs> but other than that, I will see you all soon.